Hello friends, welcome to Amazon Webcast and in today's video demonstration, we are going to see how to install remote server administration tool on Windows 10 computer. If you are a Windows admin using Windows 10 computer as your administrator desktop, you will need to obtain remote server administration tool to run the tools that administrator, your Active Directory, networking services, group policy and etc. These tools are not installed by default on Windows 10 computers. Remote Server Administration Tools is a collection of tools that are useful for managing server code as well as full GUI installation. Our set includes Server Manager, MMC Snap-ins, PowerShell CMD Lates and additional command line tools that are used to manage the remote computer. There are two versions of our set tools, one for 32-bit machine and second one for 64-bit machine. You can download the version as per your requirement from the Microsoft website. Once you have downloaded the correct version for your machine, means 32-bit or 64-bit, then you should Install the updates on your Windows 10 computer. Now, as you can see, already I downloaded the setup for our set tools, then that is a 64 bit edition as per our Windows 10 computer, and already I log in on this computer as our user name user one. And this computer is a part of our domain name mylab.local. In the last video, we just assigned a delegation permission to our user name user one to create, manage, and delete user account in our Active Directory. Now, in this demo, we are going to install our set tool so our user name user1 can manage Active Directory from these Windows 10 computers. So let's install the R set on this Windows 10 computer by double clicking on it. This will ask us for credential because our user1 hasn't permission to install the update on this Windows 10 computer. So let's specify the credential of our administrator and hit enter. Click on yes, click on I accept. So this will go through the installation and install the update onto your computer. This will take some time to complete the installation. Once it completes the installation, you should reboot your computer. Click on restart now to restart the computer. So after reboot, uh, let's again log in with our user name user1. So once you log into Windows 10 computer, click on start button, click on all apps, and under all apps, now you can see that the saw manager is also there, and under W, you can see Windows administrative tools, and here, these are the uh, MMC snap-ins from where you can manage your Windows server. Now let's select Active Directory Users and Computers and this will open Active Directory Users and Computers. In the last video, we just uh, delegate the control to our user name user1 on our OU name OU1. Let's see if our user is able to create a new user or not. Now here you can see we have a plenty of options. But let's try to create a one user. Uh, let's specify the name of our user, user2, user2. User two. Let's specify the password. And let's specify the confirm the password again. Click on next and click on finish. As you can see, our user name user one is able to create a user account under our Active Directory. Now let's try to create a new group. So let's specify the name of our group as group two. Click on OK. And as you can see, our user name user one is not able to create the object name group two because user has no permission to create a group under our OU name OU1. So this is the way how our user name user1 can manage Active Directory from Windows 10 computers. And uh, let's close this. Just right click on start button. Select control panel. Click on programs. Click on programs and features. Click on turn on Windows feature on or off and let's specify the credential of our administrator as normal user does not have a permission to on or off Windows feature. Let's scroll a little bit and here we can see remote server administration tools. On a Windows 10 computers, when you install RSET, at that time all the remote server administration tools installed by default. Now suppose if we expand role administration tools, here we can say we have a THCP server tools, we have a DNS server tools, 
Now suppose if you do not want DNS server management tools on these computers, that time you can remove the checkbox and then click on OK. On Windows 10 computers, by default all remote server administration tools are installed by default. Let's click on close and close this. So this is the way how you can install remote server administration tool on Windows 10 computer. That's it for this video demonstration. Thanks for watching this video.